Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we look at the Tangled Mazes plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to easily create and customize mazes uh, in Minecraft. So to get started, we're going to want to do forward slash maze help. That will show us all the commands. And then if we do forward slash maze wand, that will give us the magic wand, which allows us to select the different points of the maze. So just like world edit, we're going to want to left click in one place and then right click in another. And that will give you an outline in gold showing you where your maze will be. But if you're not happy with that, you can simply just click elsewhere and form it again. Now, the cool thing about this is it doesn't matter if there's terrain or bumps in the way. It will, um, it will take that into account when building your maze and it will still work. So let's go ahead and build quite a big maze for this example. There we go, a long rectangle. And once we've done this, we can do four slash maze and then start. That's going to turn it into redstone and we can actually edit it from here. So then if we do four slash maze, select and brush, it will turn our wand into a brush where we can change the shape of our maze. So if we right click the redstone along the edges, we can move it inwards and stop it from being a normal rectangle shape and make it kind of a weird higgledy piggledy shape. Um, that's probably the best way of describing it. And then if we look up, we can see all of these little dents that I've created. And obviously this is going to make it more interesting and more difficult for the players to uh, play. Once we've done that, we can do forward slash maze and set, and we can change the various different things such as the wall and path lengths and heights. So all you need to do is literally just tap in whichever one you want and then change how many blocks you want it to be. So maybe set, set the path length to six blocks, set the path width to one block, and then we can also change the wall height and width. So how high do we want the walls? Maybe five blocks so people can't jump and see over. And then the wall width, probably just one. We don't want them too thick. Once we've done that, we can add some exits by doing forward slash maze select and then exit. And all we need to do is right click wherever you want the exits to be on the redstone. So let's put one there. Let's put one here and one more over here. There we go. And the diamond one is the main exit and the two emerald ones are the secondary exits. Now, once we've done that, we can teleport to it if we want to. Imagine we lost it and we don't know where it's gone. We can do maze teleport and we'll be back. And if we want to build it, we can do four slash maze build maze followed by all of the blocks we want it to be made out of. So let's just use those different types of wood. So spruce, oak and birch. Hit enter and there we go. As if by magic, it's been created. So it's randomized the pattern inside. And as you can see, it's got loads of random different blocks which we chose and we have a maze on our hands. Obviously, I'm not going to try and do it because I'm rubbish at mazes and I obviously created it. But if we're not happy with this, we could do four slash maze unbuild maze and that will get rid of it like it was never there. So now that we've got rid of it, we could change maybe the wall height to three. We could change the path length to four, for example, and we can also change the blocks it's made out of. So we could change the block to um, cobblestone, for example. So let's go ahead and type that in. So cobblestone and then hit enter. And there we go. It's created a brand new maze, which is slightly uh, shorter. It's made of cobblestone now and it's got shorter path lengths as well. And there we go. That's how easy it is to create customized mazes. So here we are on the spigot page. And as you can see, it's got a lot of cool pictures and information. You can see there is so much you can do with this plugin with changing the sizes and shapes and blocks and everything. It's really fantastic. It was uh, last updated today and it's working on 1.14. So if you want to download it, come over to here. But if you need a server toaster on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest toasting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.